Hi, I'm Lorena Jorge, and welcome to our first episode of Nets Faith Film Festival, our weekly program showcasing a group of short films that inspire, give hope, and celebrate faith. This series is interactive, so you'll be able to vote for your favorites on our website during our final program to select the grand prize winner. On today's show, we invite you to join us for a trio of unique films, an unusual occurrence in the diner, a detective investigating an unsolved mystery, and a handyman who encounters Jesus. Up first is a lighthearted film by Paul Preston called The Sweetener, which follows two mysterious strangers into a restaurant where the lonely patrons are in need of a little cheering up. Let's take a look. You don't want to do that. He's got you with a pepper. Walked right into that one, didn't you? You gotta protect now. the hot sauce. It's all about protecting no. the hot sauce. You still have the power. down to this. A true clash of the titans <laughs> comes down to this one last move. I got winner. I got winner. Wait, wait, wait. I said I had winner earlier. When? When the soy sauce took out the pepper. Okay, fine, fine. We got next game then, all right? Okay. We got next game. Okay, okay. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so good. Told you. 
Well, that had a nice little twist at the end. Maybe angels can influence us more than we realize. Right now, we're going to pause for some important messages, then get ready to play detective, because our next film is about an unsolved mystery. Stay with us. Welcome back to Nets Faith Film Festival. Up next is an entry called Open Your Eyes. It's an interesting story about a detective investigating unsolvable case. Will you be able to figure it out before he does? Take a look. For as long as I can remember, I've been a faithless man. Until one day a case was put before me that would change my life and the lives of those around me forever. My name is Mortimer Havisham. P.I. Hello? I'm calling you about your mission. Ishmael, is that you? Isaiah, but you were close. Isaiah, what is it now? Your assignment was to tell people about the Messiah. Yes, well, I've been looking into this, and I'm sorry, but I found no such clues that there ever was a Messiah. Come across anyone named Jesus? As a matter of fact, I haven't. I don't think you've been looking hard enough. Why does this have to be my case? Is there some sort of urgency? Is anyone dying from this lack of knowledge? Every day. Open your eyes, Mortimer. Allow the spirit of the case to work with you. Hello. Istanbul. Irvington, New Jersey. Heads up. What do you say, Havisham? Any new developments on the Messiah case? Actually, I've just come from speaking with Israel. Israel, isn't it Isaiah? Good call. If we continue with this case, we will need to gather the facts, examine the clues, and allow ourselves to be moved by the spirit of the case. The spirit? Spirit like ghost spirit. Spooky, isn't it? However, Isengard, Isaiah. Isaiah, bless you, he informed me that lives are being lost every day. Every, every day? That's terrible. That means we got to solve this case now. Absolutely. Marlo? My love. Yes. Why don't you snoop around the church scene and see what you can find? Esther. It's Edgar, sir. Fair enough. See what you can dig up on this Jesus character. Jesus character, got it. Jesus, does that mean, does that mean I get to dress like a nun? Can I bring my boxing gloves? No. And interesting. I'll see you both tomorrow. Have a shit. Wake up. Where am I? Don't worry about that now. Just listen. I spoke to a man named Pastor, and he said that only 
Christians believe that Jesus is the Messiah. Well, who do other people think he is? A prophet and a teacher and just a guy who told everyone to love each other. Oh, well, I like love, but there's a time and a place, Emerald. It's Edgar. Mm -hmm. And I agree. But apparently we're supposed to love everyone. Interesting. Very. Mm. Was there anything else you found out? No. You should go now. How will I get out of here? I can't explain that to you now. Avishan, I'm trying to work here. If you... It's... I hate it when you play games. Air ping pong? Look what I found. This better be good. Oh, it is. The Holy Bible. Mm hmm So, I did what you said and was told that this was going to have the answers to all of our questions. I've read this before, but I thought it was just a book of made-up stories. Let me check something out. Interesting. Nemo? Milo. Yeah, slight error. Momo? Milo. 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 My name is Milo. Hmm. What have you discovered? Well, there was this prophet named Isaiah, and he said that there was going to be a Messiah. And it says here that this Messiah was to be anointed the Son of God and sent to earth to spread the good news. Hey, check this out. It says here that the book of Isaiah was written 700 years before Jesus' time. And it goes on to say that all of his prophecies about the Messiah were fulfilled in Jesus. I don't understand that. How can how can that happen? Don't you think if uh, God could create the earth that he'd be able to speak to us and uh, tell everyone what's going on? Interesting. I'm just going to have to read it myself. This Isaac character's been withholding information from me. Isaiah. Isaiah. Dreaming, Mortimer. Why am I in a tree? Well, this is your dream. You chose the place. I just met you here. I'm here to give you some help. Good grief, man. How much more help do I need? Well, I could write it out for you, but I already did. It's called the Bible, Mortimer. You've been reading it. How do I know it can be trusted? Wasn't it written by regular men? Holy men of God as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. There's that spirit ibuprofen was talking about. You mean Isaiah? Sharp as a double-edged sword, you are. <laughs> Wait a minute. What do you mean, you wrote it? How can you be him? Or him be you? Or IBM? Things getting clear for you now. A little. I still feel like I need more proof. I've been proving myself for 2,000 years, Mortimer. But the fact is, this case was solved 2,000 years ago. I came to fulfill the prophecy and set my people free. I work through people like you, just like you, to spread the word, letting people know about the promise they have in me. Interesting. Spirit, Mortimer, allow it to guide you. And the rest, well, it all becomes more clear. But I'm a private investigator. What do you want from me? You'll figure it out. You're a smart man, Amsterdam. It's Havisham. 
I know. Hey, Morty. Open your eyes. Havisha. Wake up. What did you find out? Yeah, what'd you learn? Well, we've learned a few things so far. Let's go down the list. One, we found out that Christians believe this Jesus to be the Messiah. Two, this Holy Bible tells stories of Jesus teaching, proclaiming, dying, rising, and saving. Three, this same Bible tells stories of prophecy fulfilled by Jesus. Four, Jesus appeared to me in a dream and told me that the Bible was the holy word of God. And twelve. Actually, I think that's all we need to know. So, what do we gather from this information? That the Bible is true. Which means... Jesus is the Messiah. I believe he is. So, what now? We have a new assignment. Mission, if you will. Who is it? It's your neighbor. Now open the door or I'll open it for you. Margo. Margo. Yeah. Why don't you uh, go check out that door? <sighs> he wins. Listen, guys, you know how thin these walls are. I've been putting up with your noise for the last two days. You think you could tone it down a bit? Listen, Lucifer. It's Anthony. I've been living across the hallway from you for the last six years. Yes, you have. Anthony, I apologize. Thank you for your patience. God bless you. Yeah. Whatever, buddy. Just keep it down, all right? And so it begins. Well, that film by Mike Posey was not only humorous and entertaining, but contained a significant message. Speaking of messages, it's time for us to take another break. When we come back, we're presenting a film called Forgiven. So stay with us. Welcome back to Nets Faith Film Festival. Before the break, we watched a film called Open Your Eyes, which had a touch of comedy. But now we're going to move on to an entry containing a much more serious tone. Forgiven, directed by Hans Hearn, about a handyman who has an unusual encounter with Jesus.
Forgiven has a very powerful message, reminding us how Jesus died for our sins, which is a great message to remember at the end of our first program. That's all for today, but you can visit our website to view additional films anytime. And remember, at the end of this series, you can vote for the grand prize winner, so keep track of your favorites online. I'm Lorena Jorge, and I'll see you next time with another episode of Faith Film Festival.